Promising development back here in this country, Army scientists are working on a new vaccine that they say could be effective against all known COVID-19 variants, even Omicron, as well as previous coronaviruses like SARS. Joining us to talk about what this could be, if it's a breakthrough, and NBC News Pentagon correspondent Courtney Cuby is with me. Courtney, uh, this vaccine has been in development for a couple of years now. What do we know about what the Army has been working on? Yeah, that's right, Kate. So early on in the pandemic, nearly two years ago now, the U.S. military got some samples of COVID and they started working on this vaccine. So this is occurring at Walter Reed. A lot of people think of Walter Reed as this enormous military medical facility in Bethesda. But in fact, there's actually a large research component as well. So they started working on a vaccine, a vaccine that isn't exactly like the ones that we've all come to know so much about in the last year and a half. In fact, this one is not just was not just trying to target target and protect against the COVID that we all have known since the early days of the pandemic in 2020. But the ultimate goal is that theoretically, it could actually protect against future variants of COVID as well that we don't even know about yet. So one of those that this could be able to protect against is Omicron, which we're hearing so much about right now. But the idea is that this one could protect protect against mutations of COVID going forward. Uh, it also, in fact, as you mentioned, it's not just a protection against COVID, but it also protects against SARS. So again, they're early, they're still relatively early on in the testing of this, but so far the outcomes are very positive. They are hopeful, if not optimistic, that this may actually be able to prevent against future variants of COVID. Right. That could be huge. Uh, so how far along in development are we talking? What are the next steps? So it's gone through phase one. We're expecting to hear what the military calls their analysis or, you know, the outcome of the first phase of this. But everything that we're hearing is that in the next few weeks, we will hear positive results from that, that it was successful in protecting against it. But next thing, they have to they have to start testing it in humans. And while that may not seem like that's such a big hurdle, think of where we are in this pandemic. Many, if not most, Americans have either been vaccinated, exposed to COVID. They have some level of exposure to coronavirus, well, they need to test this on people who have not been exposed, who have not been vaccinated, so who have no COVID in their systems. That's going to be one of the hurdles to the next step of, of testing this for phase two and phase three. But again, so far, they are very optimistic, the U.S. military in this research facility, that they will be able to provide in the coming months, so not any time too soon, but in the coming months that they may be able to provide a vaccine that will provide a much broader spectrum of protection for people. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.